Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So, I was able to check out the Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia interviews on the MMA Hour on YouTube with Ariel. Uh, shout out to the MMA Hour and Ariel. Man, that dude does really good interviews. I love how um, his style of interviewing, straight shooter. He warms the guys up to be able or to guess whoever it may be, warms them up. And makes them feel so comfortable and, you know, he's he's welcoming. And then once he kind of gets you in that mode, he just shoots straight from the hip with the questions, man. And he really asks all the questions that people wanted to know. Um, he talked to Devin Haney, asked him about his relationship with Eddie Hearn. Um, the fact that this isn't a matchroom fight. It's a Golden Boy and Devin Haney promotions, co-promotion. Um, you know, they delved into how... Uh, Devin and, and Devin Haney promotion is now taking the lead as far as, uh, you know, putting on uh, his fights and headlining and, and, and wanting to make the best fights. Talked about um, how Devin Haney felt about uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, uh, dropping out of the fight the first time around. And then he also talked to Ryan Garcia and Ryan Garcia opened up about how he's not happy with the fight being in New York. And that he would want the fight to be on the West Coast, preferably Vegas, um, even in California where both fighters are from. So let's talk about that. You see the title, Devin Haney said that it's nothing he can do now. The contract is signed. You know, basically your ass is mine. You feel me? The contract signed. Ain't no dropping out the fight. If you try to wiggle your way out this one is going to be a hefty price to pay because we know ryan garcia has wiggled his way out of a devin haney fight before you know where there were no contracts signed or anything like that we know that ryan garcia had ample opportunities to fight devin haney and turn them all down but that's neither here nor there the fight is made now so let's talk about it uh ryan garcia came out prior to this interview on twitter and said, hey, uh, this fight is a Vegas fight. I'm going to do everything that I can to get this fight in Vegas. And this shit ain't happening in, in at the Barclays in New York. Then he went back and edited that tweet. Kept the part in there about him wanting the fight to be in Vegas and not in New York. But took out the part where he said this shit ain't happening in Brooklyn. Because truthfully, you know contract sign it ain't too much that you're gonna be able to do and plus ryan garcia said that he felt like he gonna make more in this fight than he did with the tank davis fight he even went as far as to say that when ariel brought up well canelo is fighting a month later uh you know what two and a half weeks later don't you think it's better to move the fight to a different place so you don't have to compete with somebody like canelo ryan garcia said that i feel like this fight gonna do bigger numbers than the Canelo and ha uh, Jaime Mangia. We'll talk about that as well. So, you know, Ryan Garcia is fully confident that they're going to make a bag off this fight and that they can put this fight up with any other big fight out there and they're going to be able to compete and not only compete, but outdo. So, I thought it was interesting that Ryan still stood on that, even though there's a press conference today. They already are in, you know, we're moving forward towards that fight. But Ryan still some somehow feels like he can, uh, you know, move mountains and get the fight back on the West Coast. Now, let me say this. I actually agree with Ryan Garcia from the perspective of location, where the fight should be, because I actually wanted to go to the fight. I wanted to go to Vegas, 420. You feel what I'm saying? What a beautiful time to have a fight in Vegas. You dig what I'm saying? And, you know, springtime, weather going to be beautiful. You know, it's Vegas. And it's one, it's one of, if not the biggest fight in the sport that's made for this year so far. So, I actually agree with Ryan that this fight should be on the West Coast. However, like Devin Haney, he, he really not giving a fuck. Honestly, like Devin Haney is on some shit where... Okay, you know, it would have been dope to have a fight at my hometown where I just sold out the uh, where the Golden State Warriors play in the Bay. 
But of course, Ryan Garcia not gonna want to do that fight in 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 San Francisco in Devin Haney's backyard. He's not gonna want to do that. Um, they both, I'm pretty sure, would want to do the fight in Vegas. But Devin Haney is on some shit like, and look, it's New York Barclays Center. It's a huge. Uh, it, it's the number one uh, place for media. It's gonna be huge. All eyes on on us. The build up of this fight is gonna be incredible. You got history. Uh, it makes sense to have this fight. In a place like New York, um, you know, uh, the media capital of the United States. And it's a a, a, a a fight on a different coast, which gives you more exposure to that fan base. I believe those people going to come out and pay to see that fight. The pay-per-view still going to do what it's going to do, whatever, no matter where the fight going to be at, right? Um, you know, so I, I like... Devin Haney's perspective as well, because at the end of the day, he just want to fight and he want to, you know, continue to build his brand. And I think doing fights on the West Coast and the East Coast and, you know, in different places, he also said that he want to fight in Saudi Arabia as well. Um, I think that's good just for expanding the brand of these fighters. I I agree with both guys. I think, you know, if, if Ryan, I would love to have a fight in Vegas. I'm pretty sure Devin wouldn't mind that as well. But the fight being in New York, I'm not going to that motherfucker. To be honest, I wanted to go to Vegas. I, I'm not going to no damn New York. I have no desire to go to New York, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, so with that being said, though, uh, you know, I think both guys have a point. But what Devin Haney was saying, the fight is here. Ain't no wiggling out this motherfucker. You're going to have to pay a hefty price if you do try to get out this fight. Your ass is mine now, you feel me? And I believe every word that Devin Haney's saying when it comes to, you know, talking about how, yeah, we got history in the amateurs and there's been guys that have been really good amateurs. And then when they get to this level, they either don't pro progress, they get worse or, you know, they're never what they never get to what they were cracked up to be from that amateur um, like exposure and popularity and shit like that when they get to the pro level it's a lot of guys who just ain't that good and Devin Haney is on a mission to prove that he's you know far better than Ryan Garcia he said that you know he won't Ryan Garcia to keep using that shoulder roll you know what I'm saying he won't Ryan Garcia you know to be Ryan going into this fight don't switch nothing up be Ryan and we gonna see who the better fighter is and and Devin Haney feels like he's gonna be able to put on a a, a flawless performance versus Ryan. He feels that he'll be able to beat Ryan worse than Tank Davis did. I think that's possible because there's lesser of a threat that the fight ends early with Devin Haney. So that gives Devin Haney more opportunity to put pause on him. Uh, you will see more combinations. You're going to see more punishment in this fight than the Tank Davis fight because he ended that fight with one shot, essentially, right? And Tank Davis was doing a whole lot of fighting off of the back foot, not really being super offensive, but that's normal Tank Davis, right? And, you know, he caught, he caught Ryan Garcia being reckless. Devin Haney even said that if Ryan Garcia get out of line, then he going to get his ass whooped and he could get stopped. He could possibly run into some shit early. Devin Haney said that. So you saw the video that I made why Devin Haney is likely to stop Ryan Garcia. And some of the same things that Devin Haney said in that interview is, you know, are some of the reasons why I believe that Devin Haney could stop Ryan Garcia with the the underdeveloped defense of Ryan Garcia, the the overzealous and, and super aggressive style and just wanting to get in there and jump on you early in the fight and, you know, let them big left hooks go. That's going to be uh, detrimental for Ryan Garcia. And, you know, the, 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 the lack of ring IQ and decision making situationally in the ring, I think is going to favor Devin Haney and could possibly get him a stoppage in this fight, man. So I think Devin Haney mean business. And you know what? I believe Ryan Garcia mean business as well. To be honest with you, I saw something in Ryan Garcia when he mentioned where he was like, um, they, they asked Ryan Garcia about who's the A-side. He said, well, the A-side is the bigger draw, the guy who brings in the most revenue, the bigger draw, the most popular fighter. And though I agree with Ryan Garcia, he said some shit that kind of slipped up where he was like, it's not always the better fighter. Even though Devin Haney's name is first on the marquee, technically he is the A-side in this fight. But when it comes down to who is the bigger draw, you know, Ryan Garcia has been in the bigger fights and he has a bigger following on social media. 
so he feel he feels he's the draw. But he said that it's not always the better the better boxer. And then he tried to clean it up and said, well, and he ain't even a better boxer. I'm the better boxer in this fight. But you let that slip, Ryan Garcia. That let me know that you even know that you're not on Devin Haney's skill level. And that right there could mean that Dev, that Ryan Garcia is just trying to cash out for one last fight. It's a lot of things and a lot of different moving parts that we're going to have to pay attention to um, in the buildup of this fight, man. But I think it's going to be a good show. Uh, like I said, I'm standing firm on what type of fight this is going to be. This is not a super competitive fight. This is going to be a showcase fight for Devin Haney. It's not, I'm not expecting a, 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 a brawl or a war or some tip for tap. This is going to be a showcase fight for Devin Haney. It's going to be fun to build up the trash talk, the game seven, they three and three in the amateurs. Um, all the press conferences today, all this shit gonna be lit. But when it when those lights turn on and them boys walk in that ring and the bell ring, it's gonna be a, a, a one sided performance. I ain't gonna even lie to you. That's what I see. But you know, Ryan Garcia, he got power, he got athleticism, he got speed. Uh, you know, he gonna have an opportunity to to prove everybody wrong. But Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. How did y'all feel about Devin Haney saying, hey, man, look, the contract signed. You ain't getting out of this. I don't care if we fighting in Vegas, New York, Atlanta. I don't give a fuck where the fight going to be at. You know what I'm saying? Dallas, Texas. You feel me? Saudi Arabia. I don't give a fuck where the fight going to be at. I'm going to whoop your ass and you ain't getting up out of this one. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.